yes beards feet up friday hair down friday long weekend bank holiday so uh just thought i'd share my first beer of the weekend with you guys a uh, big shout to carl i'm glad you uh, took on board those um, mobile speaker beers from cloudwater the red one was my favorite the blue was nice and obviously i haven't tried the gray so it'd be good to see what you think of the gray one and um so I'm still trying to rattle through those beers I got from uh, Hops and Pops. Uh, and this one is the uh, Sierra Nevada Tropical Torpedo. And um, not a bad price, £2.99 in compared to those £7 cloud waters. So it's a tropical IPA, 6.7%. And um, this is what it looks like, it's the, uh, the amber nectar. Very nice. And um, I'm sharing it with you because... It's immediately going to get a good score from me. It's really tasty. I mean, it's that, that it's got a smell that's kind of got that fruity, florally. It's fresh. You know, if you were in a pub garden somewhere and you walked out with one of these, you know, you'd you'd, you'd know it was summer. So, um, but the taste, that has got some really fresh fruity almost piney notes on the nose i mean it's smooth and um that's, that's a i tell you what that's a really nice beer and the good news is it's not one of your really sort of expensive crazy craft beers uh, sierra nevada brewing company and um it's really nice um I, I'd, I'd give that a top notch i mean it's not getting top score but uh it's, it's definitely a beer that i would uh, i'd happily buy again so the Sierra Nevada Tropical Torpedo. Would I buy it again? Hell yeah, I'd buy I'd buy that quite a lot because that's a this is like a that's almost like a session session beer. You know, you'd quite happily just sit and drink a few pints of that without getting bored of the taste, um, and hopefully without getting you know too too blottoed that you can't really remember trying it or getting getting on it. And um, it's it's good. Do you know what? I want to remember it again. So I want to get this is going to go in my buy again. So I'm going to buy it again. It's got to be more than a 3.5. Is it the nicest? It's got a bit of a harsh aftertaste to the throat. Um, so you know you're drinking it. You know it's not one of those really smooth sort of mm, just slides down the throat and there it is. So it's um, 3.75. And um, on that note, cheers.